ladies and gentlemen you welcome back to my channel what do you do if you see your fish doing this or you see your fish dying of course nobody wants his or her fishes to die but um, in case you see it happening this video is going to show you how I'm able to treat my own fish uh, one of the major disease that affects a uh, catfish is known as G-rot is it gill or gill? well I don't know just for you to have an idea I don't know whether I got the pronunciation right but um, it's spelled G-I-L-L then R-O-T and it's a situation whereby you seal uh, your fishes, your catfish, turning whitish, just like this, and um, most of the time, it first affects their respiratory system, which makes them to become weak. And once they are weak like that, uh, it's very, very rare for, especially when they get to certain level. Uh, death is imminent for them so but if you are able to nip it from the board you'll be able to manage it and uh, how to manage it is what i'm going to be showing you in this video just make sure you follow this video might be long but i promise you you're going to derive value and um, this medication is something i'm going to be using for three days so um, you may check back in the next three days to see the outcome and also may I tell you this G-Rot I'm talking about is contagious and is communicable which means uh, uh, it can spread quickly I guess is a bacteria infection I've actually not read much about it but uh, it spreads rapidly and you know the funniest thing your fishes they like eating each other especially when they observe that one fish is weak instead of them to run away from it they will rather kill that fish and eat it and once they eat it that shows you uh, the disease is going to spread again let's assume 10 pieces of uh, your fingerlings feed on one that shows you the disease has spread to additional 10 and when this 10 dies again you now see how uh, rapid the disease will grow so it's better to just nip it from the board and how do you do this is what you're going to see in the next uh, video but before i go make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed and uh, please let's just build one wonderful community also don't forget to make use of the comment section below any of the videos your comments is what keeps me going and as well as your critics but make sure it's constructive because all these things you know i'm not con collecting a dime from you so if you want to criticize me, uh, please make it constructive and don't just blab. You understand? And thanks for to those people that have already made um, left a positive feedback. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, I think this video is getting too long. Let me just take you straight to how I'm able to handle it. Yeah, as you can see, I have three things together i have the tetracycline i have the um, penicillin and i also have chloramphenicol all mixed in this feed and as you can see okay this is the penicillin i was talking about procaine penicillin the one you put on your wounds yes all these things they are for human so this is what people call red and yellow, otherwise known as tetracycline. I made use of, um, well, I shouldn't tell you the quantity because uh, the amount of feed you are mixing it with might determine 
your quantity. I hope you understand. And this is chloramphenicol. All I have to do here is um, just to mix it thoroughly for the chloramphenicol and the tetracycline. I made use of four tablets. I remove the capsule. It's capsule rather, not tablet. I remove it. Then I added a teaspoon of broken penicillin to the feed. I stirred uh, continuously until I observe they are uniformly uh, distributed and also here as you can see i'm trying to add um, vegetable oil and the essence of this is just to serve as a binder to hold the medication i already added to the feed um, just make sure it's not too much you just need small teaspoon just to to bind it then the other thing you have to do is spread continuously and once you do that you can pour it in a big bowl or a tray like this as you can see and uh, the essence of this is just to dry up a bit don't put it under the sun use air to dry it so which means you are air drying it See the way I'm spreading it so that it will dry a bit and also the, the feed can absorb the, uh, the oil. So, and the next thing you have to do after doing this is just to administer this to your fish and um, you can do it for three days and if you do not see any difference after three days, uh, well, that means the, the medication is not properly administered. I hope you understand. So that is basically what I want to show you. Bye. Bye for now. I love you.